Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. Welcome to your December 1st through 15th, 2020 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. Once you are on the page, you'll notice that there's a couple of links there besides the readings listings. There's a link directly to the Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop where I have different tarot decks and crystals. The reason I added that uh, aspect to my whole world is because everyone was asking me where to find things. So I wanted to bring that to you guys to supply you with the things that you see here and a lot of the different stones and educational things that we talk about during the meditations. Also, there's a link to the Vibe Tribe if you'd like to be part of a daily meditation or be part of the workshop. The weekly workshop is uh, also about learning different spiritual things and right now we're working on tarot so if you want to be part of that we'll be glad to have you. With all that being said, let's move into the reading. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. So... Let's see what we have here that came out all by itself. We have the Five of Wands. The Death card. Three of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Now, I just want to say this is another card that came out. I just want to say earlier when I split the deck, the first two cards were the Eight of Cups. And I can't now I can't remember. It goes that fast that my brain kind of blanks out. But I think it happened twice with the same two cards, even though I, I shuffled them. I don't know what happened, but you guys can go back and look. I just, I don't want to interrupt the whole flow of it, but I just had to remark on that. Because <laughs> it felt like it was the same two cards both times, which was odd. <laughs> so we have the lovers. I'm not sure that that's how that could be possible. But uh, it did kind of take me aback while I was shuffling and, and doing the prayer. Uh, the High Priestess, the Gemini Major Arcana, and the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Rods, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So here in the beginning energy, we have the Five of Rods, the Scorpio Major Arcana, the Death card, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. With the Five of Swords, this is the energy of standing your ground, even though you're feeling the battle weariness, battle fatigue, um, we're all in that place. So this is the underlier. So it means don't give up. It's not time to surrender. Even if you're tired uh, of, of dealing with everything, just don't, don't let go of the ground you've gained and just hang in there. As long as you hold your spot, you don't have to make any move forward to stand your ground. Just don't surrender five minutes before your miracle, my friends. So we have the Five of Wands, which is maybe a challenge or some kind of uh, really spirited negotiation. But you don't have to be in a place of fear. You're not in it by yourself. So this too shall pass. It's a minor thing, so don't let it rattle you. We have the Death card, Scorpio Major Arcana. This is releasing you from all the negative toxic energy. This is letting go of things that no longer have any kind of place in your life. Sometimes we carry old wounds and old uh, resentments. This is the time to release them. We're releasing and purging that negative toxic energy. Because if you don't, it holds you back, right? We don't want to stay in this turmoil. We want to move forward. Because that is moving forward, the Three of Wands. And if you want to slow your progress down, you go right ahead and hang into that unforgiveness. Uh, It'll keep you planted exactly where you are. So make sure you let it go. Put it out for the trash. I call that the cosmic garbage man. Let him take it out. Because you've got new things to experience and learn. This is all new stuff. The apprentice is saying there's more valuable things out there for you to experience and learn. So don't let yourself be held back uh, by your own um, 
unwillingness to let go and start fresh, okay? We have this five of cups, another five, two, five, one, two, three, five, three fives here. One, two, three, five, fives. <laughs> I was going to say one, two, three, four, fives. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. One, two, three, fives. This is it. Three fives. Three of, or three, three. three of the cups are on the ground here. And there is the two reserve that you may not even know is there. Okay. This is that moment where you have to release what's already done so that you can move forward in this new thing. This death card, the Scorpio Major Arcana, is talking about a new beginning once we pull the negative out and purge that, this white flower is the magnolia blossom. And it stands for the renewal. We have the lover's energy, which is also the energy of ascension. So we have the masculine here with the soldier and the feminine here with the goddess. As he lifts her up, she is ascending into the energy of divine. Whether this is moving in the energy of uh, your calling, because sometimes that's what it's talking about, your divine calling, or a spiritual ascension, or even your relationship. This is relationship, love life, and spiritual life. Then we have the high priestess, which is literally saying, allow yourself to raise up above and be guided by spirit. She has her eyes closed and her head back. She does not have any control other than to concentrate on the universe giving her the right exact right things at the exact right time taking her to the place she needs to be without her having to know what that is sometimes we get caught up in what's the definition of it right when we just have to let it go and move with it um, if you if you try to um, drill down too far into the pragmatic logic then you completely destroy the miracle that's happening right in front of your face. So let the miracle happen. It's not necessary for you to know how it works. The fact that it works is, is enough. The proof is the result. Now we have the Knight of Wands, which is very fast moving uh, action oriented energy, which is asking you to take action or it's coming towards you to scoop you up and move you forward. We have the Six of Cups, which is your soul family, your tribe. This is the energy of people who are on your side. With the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. This is a gift from Divine. This is the Holy Grail, guys. You've got a new cycle of the moon, the all-seeing eye, and the Holy Grail, which is holding the DNA of life inside it. So, Pisces, let's see what our clarifiers have to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. Queen of Cups, Archangel Michael, the King of Swords, Eight of Rods, Seven of Swords, Three of Rods, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Page of Rods, Six of Rods, Ten of Rods, and our underlier is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is the dump truck load of blessings that you hear me refer to. This is about being inundated with all this new beginnings and new possibilities and blessings. Now, the only caveat to this card is that it all happens simultaneously. So it means going from zero to a thousand like that. So from inaction to going every direction all at once. If you can keep yourself from having an anxiety attack during it all, this is where you just take the thing closest to you and deal with it. 
Think about it that way, as if you had all these burners going at once and every pot was on the boil, you would only take the pot closest to you. You wouldn't try to reach over a boiling hot pot to reach for another one, right? Take the pot that's closest to you. Do one thing at a time. They're equally all important, so you're not going to, there's no way to do it wrong unless you drop one of the pots on yourself. That's, that's the way to do it wrong. So we have the Five of Wands, which is the energy of a little bit of dis difference of opinion, okay? Or uh, it can even be people being just nasty, just people being um, ugly. It may be verbal. And you may have some moments where you're feeling um, nostalgic about some of it. It may be family. It could be family or it could be co-workers. It could be any kind of thing that did not uh, have the best possible energy to it. It's, it's a negative experience in most cases. So, but it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You're not, it's not something that's going, it's not earth shattering. It's just annoying or difficult. Now, we have the death card, which is death to the old way, Scorpio Major Arcana, coming in with the King of Swords, Archangel Michael. So he's going to help with this energy of clearing the path and clearing up all the rubbish. So release this negative energy so that you can move forward. You're definitely going to want to move forward with that Three of Rods. You've got it confirmed here with the second card of it up there. The Eight of Rods, new possibilities, lots of action, blooming new experiences here on their way to you as you move forward with that Three of Rods. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is a, a, the Apprentice card, learning something new, uh, bringing yourself to a higher level through knowledge or experience. And that is walking away from what no longer serves you. It can mean giving two weeks notice. It can mean packing and moving or moving, moving on, okay? The Seven of Swords means shedding the old. That's right across from that Scorpio death card. The Five of Cups, letting go of what is no longer available. These three cups are empty. They're, all, they're turned over because they're empty. But look, right behind him, he's got two new things ready. It's waiting for him to discover it or for him to take action. There's the Three of Rods. It's ready for you to move forward. It's time to get up, get out of the pity party, let go of what, what brought you to your knees there, and move forward. The Lovers, Gemini Major Arcana, the energy of a, of a soul ascension or soul mate. It could be that kind of relationship. It can also mean whatever you do for a living is something that you feel called to do. We have the Six of Swords saying you're moving in the right direction or launching in the right direction, taking your knowledge and skill with you as you go, and letting yourself be guided by higher energy, by divine. Stay in the flow. You will be given everything you need to make it very clear and help you keep your direction true. This Ace of Swords is a gift from the universe, just like that Ace of Cups is, okay? So this is giving you the, the gift of sight, clarity, and being in a place of victory. Now, in career and finance, we have this Knight of Rods, which is coming, com coming to tell you, it's, it's, come on, let's go. And this Page of Rods telling you where to go. Here we go. Let's give you the directions. Show up at this time at this place. Bring your driver's license and all of your accoutrement you know, to prove you are who you are. And Bob's your uncle. You have... The victory in in hand and these people who you are going to be working with seem to be your tribe the six of cups is the energy of soul tribe with the six of rods which means coming through the battle victorious being the front runner head and shoulders above the rest he's got this beautiful bay leaf wreath and he's also got one on his head these are beautiful beautiful victory signals with the sun in the background always happy now, we have the Ace of Cups, which is that blessing in abundance of a new cycle. And look at that. Ten of Rods. This is moving in the direction of your new beginning as you have these, all these blooming rods. It's all new abundance 
with moving into this castle, so going into a new location, well established with what your new prosperity is. So, and blessings to boot. Many blessings to you, Pisces. This is a fabulous reading. I send you love, light, and abundance. Thank you so much. This has been a beautiful year. I appreciate all of you, and I look forward to another year with you as we begin our new journey. I'll see you again in the middle of December. Namaste, my friends.